Hello everybody, I'm Storm here, and welcome back to Stellaris, the co-dominant human elf campaign. In the last episode, we worked on building up our fleet a little bit. We still have some room to do that some more, but we're just out of resources at the moment. Also, uh, we then moved our fleets to the border to prepare for the coming war with the Isk. Uh, where we're going to release one of their vassals and hopefully knock around their military a little bit. So, we'll see how that goes. And uh, the Valdari destroyed the pirates that were in the system with their uh, intact ring world. Hopefully we'll get some technology soon that allow us to repair the ring world in our system the gate of heaven system but um we'll see how it goes we can only deal with the with the hand we're dealt as far as technology goes we'll take care of it as soon as we can all right so i think we're probably almost ready for this war to start There's a couple of things to take care of first one thing we are way behind on minerals so I need to uh, buy some. There we go. That should give us a buffer to work with. And that should be it. I can't think of anything else. Hmm. Yeah, I think we should be good. So let's go ahead and declare the war. We want to humiliate and liberate. I need that influence. All right, go ahead and confirm that. Actually, speaking of influence, maybe what's costing us? Edicts are costing us a lot of influence. I really do need the religious ties, but the Xeno News Network with the happiness plus 10%, while well, that's really nice to have, I can't really afford it right now. I need to get that influence up, so we'll turn that off for the time being. Alright, so let's go ahead. Need to get this uh, war to clear the vote. Amongst the other members of the Federation, it should pass fine. Now, I was looking at this, and I think that the most strategically important system is this system right here. Controlling this system allows us to basically cut the entire Isk Empire in half. Upon our right. There we go. And it leaves their home system on the wrong side. So, that is what we're going to do. Now, the first thing we need to do is draw out and defeat their primary fleet. And that is going to be a dangerous thing to do for our much smaller Guard Raiders. They are more for picking off small fleets, preventing them the enemy from consolidating, and knocking down starports uh, and raiding, uh, you know, like uh, mineral and research and economic star bases. So that's what they're going to work on. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to send our main fleet in. I'm going to tell it to take point. We're going to send it straight towards the Elkis system. Go right at them. See if we can't lure their fleet out. Once we know where their primary fleet is, then we can send in the raiders to start causing some damage. I want to destroy their frontier outposts. If possible. All right. 
right, so where are we at? Guinestri, Duth Juth has been elected as Archon. Okay. And who... I think you were one of the governors, wasn't she? Yes. She was our core sector governor. So we need a new core sector governor. Who do we have? Sofont A75, which gives us more research output. I will absolutely take you. All right. Now positive on minerals. That's very good. Let's at least jump you to this system. I need to know where their main fleet is. I may need a class of ship that have better sensors. We'll see. We have 13 months left until we get those new destroyer designs. Entering Hyperlane. Six days. Actually, you guys head to this system. and destroy everything there. Let's see if we can't draw their fleet that side. Metron Directive is sowing unrest on our planets. We're just going to the deceitful and treacherous Metatron are seeking to spread unrest to habitat and other nearby planets so that they are using Lucari as their base from which to propagate their message of hate. Um... Now... Habitat were, Habitat Zap, Habitat Clonk, Habitat Bzzzt. Um, being stirred up, uh, Unrest plus 30. Interestingly, the only things, oh no. There are Nerilga on the surface of Habitat Bzzzt. Very interesting indeed. Now over here, there is only some droids. That's Engaging it. enemy station. Frontier Outpost.
Could cause them some damage. And lose some territory. Any sign of an enemy battle fleet? No. The Reshethi fleet is here. They're following our first fleet. That's good. 85k. That'll get the Isk's attention, I think. There is a Savelli Blessed Mandate Fleet. Here comes Savelli Shipping Alliance Fleet. Alright, we destroyed their station. Alright, continue heading for their home system. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send the raiders into the Jinkath system. I definitely do not want the raiders to be caught. They can't directly engage the enemy's main battle fleet. There's no way they would survive. Interesting route that they're taking. Oh, I thought we would have seen something by now. had a military station there that uh, drew us into combat. That's fine. station. Actually, knock out that starport first and then head for the home system. Wow, this is a big star system. Trinary. We lost two Corvettes. The only military fleet I see is this little one here. We should be able to kill that starport. We're probably going to lose some ships in the process. So 
So what my plan is, is that our main fleet's taking point. We're going to engage and destroy the main enemy battle fleet, if possible. Um, and then uh, interdict them, harass them. I'll release all of our allies to go run their own sieges, uh, stuff like that. Um, we were either the home system of the Valentu species, or the homeworld appears to be experiencing the aftermath of large-scale nuclear bombardment. The entire planet is irradiated and devastated, with no signs of life visible. It appears that between their sending out a message and us receiving it, the Valentu were completely obliterated by internal or external conflict. Terrible news. There, Valen, Tomb World. Oh well, survey the system, and we'll see what we can do. Ah, there they are. They are chasing down the Savelli fleet. The Savelli can lure them to us. Ah, uh, so the Savelli are now locked in battle. Maybe be hard pressed just to kill that starport. Technology discovered. All right, new shields. What do we have? Even better shields. UV laser, UV lasers. The satra, satra gas. Mm, plasma throwers. Ion disruptors, active countermeasures, sentinel point defense. Medium ion cannons. We suffered no losses taking out that starport. Very good. Now as far as this starport goes... Yeah, we need to get those point defense fighters out there. Knock down their missiles. Yep. You should be able to get off any more missiles. There's the enemy fleet. Oh, they're going after the Gildan Guard Raiders. That's not good. You need to get this starport killed and get out of there. Change of plans. You chase these guys down. Got a long flight to get to the edge of this system, though. Uh, 
There's a Valdari assembly fleet. It has a chance to intercept. How about I do this? You guys don't take point for now. Take point. Well, you guys gotta run. Oh, you're still stuck in combat. Alright, get out of there. Mining station? No, break off! Retreat, get out! That was close. All right. Well, now we know where their fleet is. Entering orbit, hyperlane, if I could tell you guys to not take point for just a minute, we may be able to force an engagement. They're heading for the spaceport. Wow, they have really good hyperdrives, it looks like. Alright. Start taking point again. The state is vulnerable. The populace of the United Republic of Lars feels vulnerable as the Navy is small and dwarfed by that of hostile Orongo directors. There's no, almost no way. Savelli Galactic Assembly is sowing unrest to Macaronesi and other nearby planets using Palatine as their base from which to propagate their message of hate. Man, they're sowing unrest from back there? That's Black Citadel here. Unrest plus 20, but still not enough to even create any unrest at all. Because it's neutralized by the Cultural Awareness Center. There is their main fleet. Change of plans. Let's see. Where? There. The 
need you guys to park there. Attacking the first angelic fleet. They apparently have changed their plans. And we still haven't reached the edge of the system. Change the plans again. Come after them. I'm actually kind of hoping we can get involved in an engagement here. That is the... The Federation fleet. It won't survive the battle, but it should be able to make, you know, put up a good fight for a while. Hopefully, enough time for us to get there. Ah, we got caught up with their military f stations. All right, military station down. Starport down. All right. I hope they actually don't kill that. Uh, they're probably going to kill it before I can get there. Because that military station actually gives us an advantage. It will pull me closer to the fight. We have a long flight to the edge of the system to go through first. And when we come in, we're going to come in over here if there isn't that, that station there to bring us over, so... And it doesn't look like that that station is going to survive. Initiating communications. They want a research agreement? We agree to do the agreement. Initiating communications. Uh, they want to give me minerals for star charts? Yeah, we'll take it. Alright, where are the raiders? There they are. Get some repairs. Anyway, is there any way for me to approach them from a different angle? It would almost be beneficial to do this. Jump here, jump there, and then jump back. 
and then attack the fleet. Guys are taking a long time. Uh, there's the Valdari assembly fleet. They should be coming to follow me. Yes, they are. All right. The Federation fleet just retreated. Alright, they are flying back to the edge of the system. As long as it takes them more than, let's say, 15 days, we have them. Wow. The Moyes Huxin Coalition has a very large fleet. Then again, we've never really been a militarist empire anyway. All right, the raiders are repaired. I want them to head to this system and see what we see there. All right, nine days till they jump. Idwad, a gas giant orbited by Valen, ha still has a massive artificial structure orbiting it. It is badly damaged by space debris, but its purpose is clear. Large orbital antennas were used to send radio waves into space. This is likely an origin point for the signal we received. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Four days. And we made it. Now, we're going to take some heavy losses here. Discover a precursor singularity drive. The science expedition team led by Dolath Harold Gent from the science vessel URC Nikumato has found something remarkable. This world appears to have underground, underground regions resembling laboratories and experimentation facilities, which led to a central room containing an enormous singularity drive that resonates with energy. The Altan... The automatons within the room seem to take each other apart and reattach the pieces with no discernible pattern. Fascinating. Research speed plus 2%, you need to gain 25. All I have to do is hope that one of our allies arrives relatively soon. Ugh, that again. Technology discovered. We've got our advanced destroyer designs. All right, hold on just a second. Strategic defense network, military station and outpost damage. Planetary strategic defense network. Advanced Mineral Processing. Okay, 
Blaster radiators. Construction templates. Yeah, unfortunately we do not have dreadnoughts in this list, so we're going to go with the advanced mineral processing. Ships. Gotta get those point defense fighters out there and start shooting down some of these missiles. Outer Moon Telescope. Near Sea Nicomachus has detected a grid of pylons that have been well preserved by the vacuum of space on Ethra, the barren sister moon of Valen. From the look of it, the Valentude dedicated considerable effort toward building a highly sophisticated radio telescope designed to search for signals from alien civilizations. Come on, I need some backup. There we go. We are getting a little bit long here, but I want to at least get through this battle. starting to take a lot of damage. Up, oh, they retreated. All right. So, what we're going to do is we'll go ahead, we'll end this episode here. We'll continue working on this when we get back. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.